Okay, so we are going to go through the process of taking a maxillary alginate impression on our patient. We have all of our armamentaria here. We have a tray that we've already fitted to the patient's mouth. Um, this is a small size tray. She would like to think she's a medium, but she is a small. Um, we have water in our cylinder for three scoops of powder, which we have measured out, our spatula, and our mixing bowl. So we, as you have seen in previous videos, we will add our powder to the bowl. Add our liquid to the bowl. Begin to mix slowly so we incorporate the powder and keep it off of our patient. And once we are fully incorporated, we will mix more violently and using this side of the bowl, eliminate any air bubbles. Gathering all the material together by swooping along the side of the bowl, we will fill our tray. Again, so that we don't have any air bubbles in. We will take this to our patient. Standing behind, we will retract her lip. Open just a little, please. Insert the tray. Make sure we have it posteriorly seated. Seated posteriorly first, and then roll it up toward the front, releasing her lip and holding it into place. Breathe through your nose, please. Have them keep their chin down and breathe through their nose. And think happy thoughts. And we mixed very fast, so this may take a little bit for this to set. Kathy is a very great patient. Sometimes this is a little tougher on patients who are gaggers or anxious. But we are stabilizing the tray along the molars with our two index fingers, making sure that it's in position. Right now, Kathy's saying, why didn't you mix slower? <laughs> but we're starting to lose our gloss a little bit here. It's not set yet, Kathy. You can see that it's still not set in the front. And it's still glossy on my thumb from when I mixed it, so we know it's not set. When it loses that gloss, we'll know that it's set. Almost. Okay, when we remove the tray, we're going to break the seal posteriorly. Say ah. Uh -huh. And that's our impression material. 